We've been uh, launching like a rocket to the Republican nomination. This morning, Republican frontrunner Donald Trump on the verge of taking a giant step towards the GOP nomination with a potentially decisive Super Tuesday showdown looming. 15 states and more than 800 delegates at stake from California to Texas to Virginia. This November, Virginia is going to tell crooked Joe Biden, you're fired, you're fired. On Saturday, the former president targeting Biden's mental state. The guy can't put two sentences together. Then claiming his own past mix-ups, including switching the names of Obama and Biden in speeches, were on purpose. I do that because, you know, that makes a point. Because a lot of people say he's running the country. But later, Trump seemed to make the same mistake again. And Putin, you know, has so little respect for Obama that he's starting to throw around the nuclear war today. You heard that, nuclear. He's starting to talk nuclear weapons today. As a new poll shows Mr. Trump leading the president 48 to 43 among registered voters nationwide, suggesting a margin of error rematch in the making. Nearly three quarters of that same pool of voters say President Biden at 81 is now too old to be an effective president, while 42 percent say the same of Mr. Trump, who's 77. We can do better than two 80-year-old candidates. Overnight, Trump rival Nikki Haley claimed her first primary victory in the District of Columbia, becoming the first woman in history to win any GOP primary contest. America is better than what we see right now. On Meet the Press, Haley also indicating she would not endorse Trump if he wins the GOP nomination, backing away from an RNC-mandated pledge all the candidates except Mr. Trump made last year. I have always said that I have serious concerns about Donald Trump. I have even more concerns about Joe Biden. Now, the most important campaign news of this day may happen just down the road at the Supreme Court, where we could see a ruling as early as this morning on whether Mr. Trump can stay on the ballot in Colorado. Remember, that's one of several states which have questioned whether his actions on January 6th amounted to an insurrection, which would disqualify him under the 14th Amendment. The Supreme Court's decision here will have huge implications in this race. Savannah. All right, Garrett, thank you. And stay with NBC News. We will have live results and analysis tomorrow night, starting at 5 Eastern on NBC. NBC News Now, then 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific, right here on NBC. And you can find up to the minute results anytime on NBCNews.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.